Hi, my beautiful collective. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. So let's dive in and see what's going on for this weekly reading. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's spilling the tea, straight savage, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as you're coming in to show love to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I do post new content, which I do almost every day. So let's chime you in. I got two decks here so i'm gonna pull out a couple of cards and clarify with the second deck all right so spirit guides ancestors oracles of the highest white light i call you in and i ask for a clear precise channeled message from my beautiful collective what are we tapping into for this beautiful monday remember my readings are timeless general and collective and may or may not resonate with you it may resonate with somebody around you, maybe resonating with somebody who's playing in your energy who you know nothing about. So always use your discernment and put yourself where you belong. Anything other than the highest white light, I close that door now. Please and thank you. Bottom of the deck, what's hidden from us is the hangman. So definitely somebody stuck. Or looking at things in a different perspective, trying to sacrifice, you know, somebody might be a little bit um, <laughs> in a haze. Show me, guys, what's going on here. What do you want to tell my collective? Internally, externally, what's going on? We have a king of wands here. Okay, now we want to come out. With the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck is the... It's the lovers in reverse at the bottom of this deck, all right? So, right off the bat, that king of wands, the player player from the Himalaya. Now, this guy or girl, take it as it resonates, could be extremely beautiful. But they don't have any self-value, no self-worth. Now, there's a lot of options here. Maybe this man or woman, take it as it resonates. Now, this king of wands does do some dark ass shit to get them what they want. It could be sex magic. It could be manipulation. They use their body, their looks, their, their, um, a finesser. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a finesser. But the fact is, is that they step on people to get what they want. This is it. They're not a real leader. They pretend to be, but they're not. Now, they might have a lot of options. Let's see what's going on. Four of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Tower, and the Seven of Coins in reverse. All right, right off the bat, what's going on here? Somebody's investments, they invested in a lover's in reverse, okay? So there's a broken home, broken foundation, broken stability. Whatever they invested themselves in is not working out. The bottom of this is the queen of swords in reverse. So they went into a situation with a manipulator, a narcissist, okay? They have no real love. They're very cold-hearted, cold-blooded. And it was only because of this, Jezebel spirit internally. Now, men can hold a Jezebel spirit, guys. But there was a liar that um, manipulated them into some kind of relationship that's clearly not working out. And it's only because of this lack of self-love. This page of cups in reverse is love bombing, uh, trauma bonding, you know, scapegoating, trying to really get these options you know they they really have no love for themselves no love for others so they don't take care of themselves and they most definitely don't take care of the people around them and this is that tower in reverse somebody was trying to avoid an inevitable tower when it came to these options they went into these options love bombing manipulating maybe using their looks or their um their go-getter attitude for the wrong reasons they might have gifts but they use it for the wrong reasons. And now they're avoiding an inevitable tower with this investment that they invested in. Whatever this investment they invested in is causing them this four of swords. So they're having to rest from a near-death experience. <laughs> There's healing here. 
but it's that refusal to see the truth, to own up to this, to accept themselves and what they chose to invest themselves in that's causing them a lot of burdens. Whatever they're trying to heal from, it's this investment, it's money. Somebody was greedy. Like I said, they used their looks, they used their finesse to get them what they want. And whatever they wanted was money. It was always to get them these options so they would have, you know, it's like um, when one thing doesn't work with somebody, they go to another. Like they don't do the healing after leaving these broken relationships and then it, it puts a burden on them and then they end up giving more love that's empty to others. And then they in inevitably avoid the towers from happening. So there's no change. They're sitting in a house, a burning building. This is all internally, guys. This could be you. This could be an energy around you. This could be an energy, like I said, you know nothing about. But whatever they invested in is garbage. And it's this lovers. They invested with a queen of swords into a marriage. And whatever lies with the seven of swords in reverse, it's coming to light. Somebody is being burdened by the investments with this queen of swords that they invested in this king of wands. Now they're both in reverse. One's a narcissist, so they're a liar. So they clearly lied to get this relationship. Remember Ursula, she took the voice of um, Ariel in order to doppelgang to get the prince, right? Well, clearly this is what happened. There was some kind of a higher level commitment or something, but it's broken. Now, somebody may have avoided standing up in their power and speaking their truth. Now, somebody could be a hierophant, meaning they're religious. So they thought what they were getting into was religious, like it, you know, but the lies are coming in about this cup of love that this king of swords really has. Yeah, there's a, somebody of legality is coming in. You're waiting on this information, standing very strong as this king of coins, very abundant and with a lot of self-discipline because you have this love for self. And you knew that inevitably the truth was going to prevail because you're protected. So you didn't have to um, do anything about this. This was all going to come to light because you used your logic. Somebody is very, very smart. And uses their head over their heart when in a situation. And this is how they got their found, uh, foundations. Now, like I said, there's somebody who is really extremely greedy. And they, they were waiting on something. They thought that this was real love. But the real love hold, holds with the Queen of Cups. They need to understand that somebody did just doppelgang. They said they were a Queen of Cups. But really underneath, they were cold-hearted, cold-blooded piss the fuck off because whatever they were doing, working together, it's not working. Now somebody's spying, lying, manipulating, and feeling very left out in the cold. Is this all there is? Because somebody sees the two cups behind them. They're no longer dwelling on the situation that is in. They're in extremely burdened, or you're not dwelling about this spying and lying, but because you moved away with the six of swords, you knew your value. You knew that somebody was end up going to was gonna end up seeing the truth of what it was so you left it for what it is somebody's getting caught in the red tape whoever threw the rock and hid the hand is getting busted let's clarify this guys okay so Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, let's clarify this. So at the bottom of the deck is that four of cups again. So somebody is getting a lot of clarity about the fact that, you know, they missed out on opportunity to take the real love. Look, because somebody is in the five of cups, four of cups, five of cups. So somebody's dwelling on the spilt milk, the things they can't retrieve when they have two cups behind them, which is internally. Okay, somebody might have went into a deep dark cave with a Jezebel or with a narcissist, a liar, and now they're kind of stuck in this uh, religion-based relationship, money-based relationship. The two of wands, it's about choices, guys. Somebody is definitely getting clarity and using their intuition. With that cellulite, they're clearing off the energies. They understand that there's a choice, light and dark, right? But when you blend the two together, it's harmony. So there's no anxiety. 
at the end of the day, somebody just needs to really stand up in their power as a queen of swords in the upright, not in reverse, in the upright. Somebody has morals, integrity, they're smart, and they're going up against this queen of swords and somebody sees this, that it's a choice. Somebody had a choice with this lovers, the two of between a queen of swords in the upright and a queen of swords in reverse. Now, these two people, take it as it resonates, check your birth chart, could be, um, why do I always say that? But anyways, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? Now, this one's in reverse, this one's in the upright. There's a choice here when it comes to a marriage, a celebration, a harmony. Somebody said they were the world's greatest boss when really they were a fucking bum, and it's facts, guys. Somebody has a lot of love with this Knight of Swords. And this is what's burdening them. Because they know they invested with this Queen of Swords. And they're sick now. They're finding the strength through this sickness to really come forward with this Ruby. Now, Ruby is my birthstone. It's January's birthstone, guys. So somebody is coming in with pure force and vitality to show their strengths. After this, maybe this is you. Because, yeah, you, you're going towards what you want. You have this cup of love and you're not giving it up to nobody because you know the king of cups is in reverse. This person is emotionally unstable, male or female. The person that they went into, the person, these two people are clearly unstable. And it was a choice. That's why they chose this darker side. Because of the instability, because of the lack of self-love, that's where the burdens came in. You had to cut the cords with the black kyanite. You had to see the betrayals, start grounding yourself and protect yourself because somebody wanted you to be a dead fish. They wanted you to be burdened by the situation and choices that they made and inevitably it just burdened them. You have to be careful because look, the 10 of coins, what they invested in was trash, garbage. There's no legacy and they really want to come in with a lot of love, but there's no protection here. Or you might want to put down your guard. <laughs> it is really about forgiveness, right? At the end of the day, because shit, sometimes we do go have to go through the worst experiences. And somebody may be learning from this, but the 11-11 talks about foundation, talks about celebration, talks about harmony. After the betrayal and seeing through the veil, you do get the abundance of gratitude. You have that attitude of gratitude and you go towards and things that, feed your heart you have acceptance for what you did in the past and you live in the moment you encourage people to have acceptance and to detach from this broken family this broken foundation this broken relationship partnership business friends family take it as it resonates you're a fucking talesman you're a messenger and you're giving the message about sometimes we have to put our guards down in order to bring in this foundation let people live, let people make their mistakes because the five of swords is there. Somebody is feeling extremely defeated. They're done. It's the smoky quartz. I wear smoky quartz here. It's a protection stone. It's a cleansing stone. There's a lot of fear here. It's a fear-based mentality. Somebody was scared of the future and they went into something with the person who lied. And now that the veil has been lifted, they see the truth and it's being extreme, it's burdensome that they invested all this time, this energy, their resources to something that is a 10 of cups, 10 of uh, coins in reverse. There's no successful love. Yeah, look, the king of wands comes out twice in two decks. It's because of this promiscuality, somebody just doesn't know how to keep it in their pants and they thought that they went towards... Um, spontaneous in the moment <laughs> you know they were really thinking that they were gonna have these good looks or this big dick forever and they didn't realize about this gift this opportunity this blessing of foundation and now look the seven of coins comes out back again in reverse yo they missed out they didn't invest instead they invested in putting heartbreak in and lies and shit on somebody who was a gift and now they're feeling extremely burdened because maybe they can't get hard i don't know it's kind of early but guys it is what it is somebody is in the justice in reverse yeah they can't there's no, they're imbalanced mentally physically emotionally there's no stability here guys we have to encourage each other to understand that 
The lies will prevail, so why the fuck you do it in the first place? They're gonna come to light. Why you continuously keep lying and lying and building a bigger case for your fucking self in the ethers? There's a lot of injustice here. Somebody's getting caught in the red tape. Somebody is, you know, having to deal with their consequences of their actions and what they put their investments in. Because clearly somebody's got growth and getting a new opportunity and somebody is extremely depressed because they're defeated because they went into something that is just not successful. The world, yeah, you ended these karmic completions. You're traveling the world, you're seeing things and it had to end this way. You had to see the truth. Somebody had to spill the tea for you so that you can really buck up and walk away. Know that you have a bigger goal, a bigger thing. You're the fucking star. Like I said, it's about healing, guys. Sometimes we have to see the ugly truth for really what it is. So then this way, we can see where we're juggling. Where we juggled this gift where we're juggling opportunities, where we're not seeing people for who they truly are. One's a queen of swords in the upright, one's a queen of swords in reverse. People need to start paying attention to their atmosphere because there's a lot of fucking people trying to, you know, copy your energy and stuff. But at the end of the day, energy never lies and there's only one of you. You are authentic to you. There's a king of swords in reverse. Now there's a queen of swords, king of swords, and two king of wands. <laughs> There's a match made in hell here. These people are, just don't have the confidence. This is why they're narcissistic. They have no abundance and they're stagnant. So they want everybody else to be stagnant. They, you know, their limitations, they have lots. So they expect you to have the same, but that's not, that's not how it goes, guys. We're all different kind of creatures. Somebody is really mad about your options. And because they had a lot of options, they wanted yours to stop so that this way they can defeat you. This is what the, the narcissists do. But when you speak up for the injustice, you stand up for yourself and you're articulate about the abuse, you are no longer a victim. This is the fucking truth. You're no longer a victim and you see the illusions for what they are. You see the deception for what they are. You get the clarity. You are, uh, you are the messenger. You are the seer. You see this. You've seen it even before it happened. You've seen the guidance, the deception for what it is. And you focused. You brought in your own luck. And you know what options to pick. You're not delusional. You're very authentic. And somebody chose something different. And now they're having to pay the, the price for that. Look, the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past. The lovers. It's somebody from your past they chose. Or some... Buddy, from your past, this is their story. But the lovers is there. The truth is, is that you deserve love, compassion, understanding, to feel safe and have emotions around people, to be grounded and protected. But you have to understand it's about the duality. So nobody's perfect, guys. We just have to find somebody who's perfect enough to, to share that pain with, to be vulnerable with. Because when you're vulnerable, you have to accept the fact that you could get hurt. So that's the dualities. That's what love does. You have to be able to, willing to love and to get hurt. But it's a choice, guys. With the lovers, we always have a choice. That's why the lovers is in reverse over here. Someone chose not to be in this toxic environment. And because they want receptivity. It's the knight of swords. It's the truth. You want the truth. As above, so below, guys. That's all anybody really ever wants is the fucking truth. And the truth always prevails, especially if you're a light worker, starseed, indigo like us, like who I read for my beautiful collective. You see it. And now it's time to be equal with yourself, to get the truth and go out and really branch out, communicate. Because you got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. You got the Page of Swords. Somebody is spying on you because they know you have the Wheel of Fortune in your favor. And you are definitely speaking up. You're a public speaker. You have morals, integrity. You're loyal as a motherfucker. Probably even to um, a detriment to yourself because of your loyalty. And this is why we have to like really watch the company we keep. Because there is a such thing as um, energy vampires and... Um, transmission of energy just through friends, okay? So what is it called? Uh, spiritually transmitted demons, okay? You're the temperance angel's son, and this is why you're getting the Wheel of Fortune. 
okay? Because your balance, your practicality, you know that duality, you're the real queen of wands in the upright, queen of swords in the upright. So you set up boundaries, you're very articulate and art intelligent about situations. You're the no-nonsense queen, but at the end of the day, you're beautiful, you're rare, you're authentic, and you have a higher purpose. You are the seer. You are the healer. And because you're beautiful, you're smart, and you're powerful, you're a threat. That's fine. But you have guidance from the ancestors because you know what you put out, you get back. You are the earth angel. And this is where it brings us protection. God, creator, Ra, Sugwet, Dizu, the aliens, whoever protects you, whoever watches over you with the sun. You're achieving your dreams because you have the self-esteem to do this. You have the self-esteem, the boost, the positivity, the gratitude to really have that mental shine, to show people who you truly are authentically, a rare breed. At the heart of the deck, it's the six of wands in reverse. Now somebody is falling from grace because of this relationship and because you're a temperance angel, shining light and everything's being illuminated about this um liar <laughs> you're getting the wheel of fortune and a lover only because you're balanced internally and externally because you stand in your truth you're the galactic truth teller and you have options but you're not a, you're not in illusion you you know the one cup and you're very much a seer you see the deceptions and the illusions that this very narcissistic couple is doing Okay, this man is abusive, manipulative, says things, but it's all projection. So pay attention to how people talk of mean about other people. It's usually they're talking about themselves. So pay attention, okay, because this is where the juggling comes in, the light and the dark. You need balance. The only time you bring out the dark is to protect yourself, to stand up for yourself, stand up for your children. That's it. That's all. You don't project nasty things. You don't expect things from people. You're not a fucking bum. No. It's about finding time management so that you can stand as the star authentically and shine bright through all adversities to end cycles. When it comes to this injustice, you speak up for injustice. The fuck if you're going to let that happen to you? No. You know that somebody really invested in the wrong thing and now their, their fruit is rotten. And it's only because of this narcissistic and very, very manipulative Jezebel man doesn't matter if it's a woman maybe but their wand is it might have been big <laughs> it might have been strong but not anymore it's limp and it's broken and they have no passion and it's only because you are the gift you are the gift you are growth you give life you have a new life from spirit and you have the foundation, the celebration, and the abundance. You have the attitude of gratitude, and someone realizes that the gift was with you. And that's why they're defeated. Because of the heartbreak, the betrayal, the abandonment that they did on you. And now they're not protected because they went into a situation that was just not wise. Not wise at all. They should have thought about their, the situation. They should have did their research. You have a computer in your pocket and you don't do the research. That's crazy, guys. Pay attention to people around you and listen to them. Because a lot of people are sitting in this no love energy. So they're giving cups of empty love. And we don't pay attention because we're so codependent or we want love or we love them so much. So we see their potential. We stay with them a little bit too long. But they're... It's up to them to change. You can only give people the tools. It's up to them to use them. If they don't use them, it's up to us to walk away. We have to be smart about this because we know a lot of people are in and out. But this in and out love doesn't get you anywhere. You have to protect yourself. We have to stand up for ourselves and speak authentically because it's all about choices, guys. With these lovers cards that come out, it's about choices. Stand up in your power, especially when it comes into relationships. Ask questions, guys. It's okay to ask questions to get paperwork and stuff like that. We're fucking grown-ass adults. And we don't want to get into situations that are just short-term. We're too old for this. So it's about longevity, long-lasting relationships, guys. Somebody is a lying sack of shit. And everything they touch is garbage. They have a list here of things that they don't follow. They're manipulative. 
they say they are these things, but at the end of the day, when the lights are closed and there's no one around, yo, they do some shady shit. And this is why they ended up getting in a relationship that's just unstable. It's a karmic relationship. It is what it is. They might have some karmic babies. Who knows, guys? But you need to understand that we can get out of this, but you have to see where the fuck you didn't invest in a good thing. Where you were throwing the rock and hiding the hand. Ancestors said, look, this queen of swords has this shit. She's been talking for a very long time about these people or this person about you. And now the shit is coming out. So the ancestors have this list of things that they did in the dark and people are seeing it. All these lack of investments. Somebody avoided an inevitable tower, a life changing event that had to happen. What's built on faulty foundation inevitably crumbles and somebody tried to avoid this for a very long time to the point where now shit is really, really falling apart and they can't come back from it. And it's all because of a lack of apology or a lack of self-love, always love bombing, manipulating and condescending people and trying to get one up has somebody very burdened. It's heavy, heavy for them because they can't heal or because they're sick. Or because it's taking a little bit longer to heal from these options. There were a playa playa from the Himalaya. And those options got them really sick. Their dick is on fire. I'm sorry. Or they, you know, they need to go get a pap. Take it as it resonates, guys. Male or female. I'm sorry, but that's my spiritual burps. Which means it's usually the truth. So as much as it's gnarly... And, uh, you know, it's the truth or else I wouldn't be burping like that, all right? So sometimes we have to get a little bit real in order for us to see the truth and stand up for ourselves, okay? Because at the heart of the deck, it's the seven of wands. Somebody, again, somebody doesn't have protection or you might want to put down your guards because somebody might need your help, okay? So we are not them, remember that. So if somebody asks you for help, help them. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, show me what's going on. Now, you could also, like I said, with that religion-based card, let's get the juice, guys. Somebody's looking ass, and you're blinding these looking asses. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have people spying, okay? But with this um, hierophant, it could be a religion-based card. So somebody could be religious and you're spiritual, so they don't really understand you, you know? So they're um, judgmental. But they're looking and they're probably going to learn something. So, you know, if you're a karmic and you're watching, take some notes, guys, because there is no shame here. OK, we're not judging nobody. We're just trying to evolve and get some some learning here. So how to follow your path, how to get on your own path here. OK, so we've all been in a situation where we may not have wanted to be in, but it's all about love somebody sees that it's love all along and there was crazy transformation here and you're blinding them with this transformation because you followed your path and of course they're going to be looking wanting to see what the fuck is going on because you're solo dolo and they don't know what that is they're codependent they need people around them <sighs> somebody's missing your food and they're very very enlightened about your transformation and how you laid to rest everything Anything and everything from your past that's no longer there because you know these people were just breadcrumbing you. It could have been a brother or you could have friend zoned somebody because you chose to follow your path. You ain't fucking giving it up to nobody because you know these brothers or these per people that you friend zoned are all on STDs and they're getting burnt by the sun, creator God, because God is <laughs> enlightening that they're on the devil's path this is why you move the fuck away from these players yo i can't make this up these players are looking at your dirt or photos they see you're blessed they're feeling foolish because you got the power and you had a soul ascension or you have a twin flame coming in this twin flame tried to fucking put a lot of scandals on you yo so you said the fuck with this and you had a soul ascension there was a lot of power struggles with this twin flame, but you got the fucking power and they're feeling extremely foolish because you're blessed. And that's why they're watching your dirty photos. They're, they're probably laying up with a bitch hiding and watching your dirty, like looking at your dirty photos. Yo, there's major karmic lessons here because you got the downloads and you don't give a fuck 
you spilling the tea about this homeless people. They're homeless because they have no heart. Tamed with love. Brand new. Somebody's a hobosexual. And you're brand new, all right? And you're somebody sees you tamed with love. Like you help a lot of people. A lot of people adore the shit out of you. And that's why you have a divine bodyguard. Because you're mature about situations. As above, so below, guys. It is what it is. Somebody's trying to hold on to you. But you're free. You have freedom. You ain't tied down to nothing. Somebody is in emotions and it's these haters. But the haters are gonna hate. You can't do nothing about them. And they're fucking scared because of your light. They're scared because of your darkness. And they're scared because of your power. You're very balanced, guys. And then somebody wants to send you a message. But you ain't having no sexy people on the fucking block list or on the friend zone. Because you're ascending master, yo. You're getting your level up through this breakup. <laughs> wow, guys. Congratulations. Cheers to that. You got the divine bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the ancestors got to say for some advice. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, I call you in. Let's get some advice. Okay, somebody's going on at the bottom of the deck. It's destruction. <laughs> You're destructing all this fucking shit. You're dismantling anything and going on a new fucking journey, guys. New journey. Why? Because you're being guided. Six of Swords, you are guided to move away from this by your divine bodyguard because you are tamed. And these fucking looking ass is going to look all they want because you're gifted. They have something to see. So look, man, for real. Just learn something as you're watching because somebody is extremely intu um, innovative. Uh, intuition. Somebody's got crazy intuition. And if you're watching Tasha, well, then you'll see just how crazy Tasha's intuition is. That's why I called it Tasha's Intuitive Tarot. Because I'm so on point and we destruct and dismantle all the karmic energies on this channel so we can evolve. All of us. Light and dark. There's equilibrium on this channel and it's all about healing each other. This is why I started Tarot. Because I wanted everybody to know that you're not alone. We're all on a journey. And sometimes it's a single journey. Solo dolo. Remember that. But it allows you to be brand new. <laughs> so sometimes we have to have these crazy, detrimental, life-changing breakups. In order to be tamed by ourselves. To go on a new journey. And be, have the guidance. To tap into our gifts. And use our intuition. Okay? Deception. Somebody's wearing a false mask in a relationship and this is why you move the fuck out or this is why somebody isn't getting away from this queen of swords or king of wands in reverse. Take it as it resonates. Somebody is seeing the truth and somebody needs to have a heart to heart conversation to get the guidance and the protection. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Somebody just needs to be open because somebody is freeing themselves. And there, that freedom, it says time to take back control. You took back control of your life and it tapped into the gifts and your intuition. And now you're getting a reconciliation. Now the reconciliation could be within yourself, that soul ascension, the 1111. Or you could have been in with a false flame, this very narcissistic, very abusive. <coughs> Excuse me, I guess they don't want me to tell you this. But this very Jezebel male spirit, so like a succubus spirit incubus spirit and now you're reconciling with your true twin flame always take it as it resonates guys but someone from your past is returning into your life but you had to free yourself had to have heart to heart conversations and at the heart of the deck it says retreat and unrequited love yeah you retreated from this you it you disconnected from the world because you knew that there was too much unrequited love. There's not enough attention and chemistry to keep the relationship going. So you freed yourself. You had heart to heart conversations with, your, with the divine, with your bodyguard. And you were tamed through the deception. And you're leveling up through the breakup. It's amazing, guys. But we just have to see really where we're wearing the mask as well. You know, we're not, we're not um, innocent in it. So smile. Your beauty radiates that way. All right? It's time to smile through all the experiences. You got through it, guys. Let's get some more juice. You got through it. You're standing as an emperor. Male, female, it's irrelevant. You have stability. You're the boss, CEO, independent contractor of your own life, and you're helping a lot of people see through the veil. 
and wake up. Get out of the matrix. Have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Everything is being returned back to sender. And you're just chilling. These deceptive people are not happy about your blessings. But that's the justice, guys. Justice prevails when you help people. Justice comes back. The return back to sender. You're, you don't have to do return back to senders when you're a... Look, I just seen it. Wait, let me see if I can... Yep, the Empress. Look, you don't have to do return back to senders when you're fucking balanced. The Libra. Justice, when you're balanced. You just be chilling. You pull out the masculine to protect yourself, to go towards what you want, to be the boss, you know, the protector, the go-getter. And then the Empress. Loving, kind, respectful, a good mother, a good provider, a good lover, generous receptive this is the thing guys this is that marriage the hierophant somebody tried to set you up try to set up your emperor try to set up your empress who knows but it's all being returned back to sender and you're just fucking chilling because you found equilibrium within self you found soul ascension and now you're getting the blessings because of your strength i just seen the strength card show me spirit guides what's going on somebody's fucking pressed that could be the emperor's pressed or it could be a leo who's pressed because you don't want to do have nothing to do with them. Show me. Yeah, this Leo played mind games and this Pisces played mind games with you. And now they're fucking pressed because you got real shit coming in and they're just a bunch of swagger jackers trying to scapegoat and get up in your grill for no reason because they don't have any creativity. They're in the hangman. That's the first card that came out, correct? They're stuck. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> Let's see what's on my floor. So, yeah, they're stuck because they're slackers. They fucking, all they did was steal from you. So the energy and whatever they went through, uh, all the level up that they did when they were with you, they don't have that anymore. Why? Because they're fucking foolish. They're foolish and you took a new beginning. You knew that these mind games, they're end up going to be pressed because you're fucking putting to death all this nonsense because you're chilling. What's meant to be is going to be and these slackers are getting fucking known for what they are because they tried to take out your love life, your stability. They tried to say something that wasn't true with this spell work, but true love wins. So who the fuck is what? <laughs> you destruct all this shit. Might be a little bit frustrating, guys, but you dance with those frustrations and you dismantle it. You don't mind hitting towers. You don't mind going through towers. You were born in the darkness, so it is what it is, guys. Let's fucking rip up shit. Because this spell work and people trying to take out this empress, love always wins. This emperor has love for this empress. Even if somebody tried to take them out with spell work, somebody sees that they're just a fucking slacker and what's meant to be is going to be. Someone's going into a new beginning and feeling extremely foolish for these mind games that were put in the dark. This Leo is feeling like a fucking idiot because things have ended and they're feeling pressed because you get the blessings, you get a higher level commitment and you're chilling. You never wanted to be with them in the first place. And that's why it's balanced because everything is returning back to sender because you're really helping a lot of people when they're fucking slackers doing nothing and they had a lot of, sit to sh a lot of shit to say about you. <laughs> well, everybody's slip is showing, guys. And you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with these deceptive people because you have no shame. So you're going to rip their mask right clean off their face and free yourself from any adversities because you have your intuition and you're gifted. So use your gifts. Tap into that light and show everybody that you're not a victim. You have the guidance to be authentic. You are the messenger and you're going on a journey all by yourself. So you don't need anybody. You want somebody. There's a difference, guys. This is why you got the bodyguards and you're getting brand new and you're tamed with love. Somebody is homeless because they're not home, like internally. They're broke, busted, but they can get better. You're not stuck. You got to pay attention to the downloads and learn from this karmic lesson about being a playa and on this devil's path because the truth comes out. You're getting burnt by the sun. About these STDs and, you know, somebody getting friend zone because they were breadcrumbing. You're putting to rest all this manipulation and it's being enlightened by the ancestors, by God, by Ra. That you are solo dolo and had a transformation. Somebody is missing you. They're missing your food. Remember, you can't live off love alone, guys. And somebody sees that it was love all along. And you're following your path towards your light. And you're blinding them. You're shining with your true self authentically. And people are watching. 
because you're helpful. <laughs> and there's nothing they can do about it. They're jelly because you're going on a new journey. So let's get some more messages, guys, for you beautiful people. So let's get the Tasha T. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe because, you know, Tasha's Liddy. It says, take a spiritual bath and rest from the day. Okay, Tasha T messages for my beautiful collective. Give them some more guidance. It's time to rest, recuperate, and then continue your striving. Okay, spirit guides, ancestors, oracles, let's get them, ooh, let's get them a message. Okay, at the bottom of the deck it says, no one to walk away and when to stand up for injustice. Never get taken advantage of and stay authentic. I know you feel like you're falling, but you got this. You got this, my beautiful collective. They're just trying to sway you from feeling like you, you got this, but you got this. Okay? Secrets are being shown. Don't worry. The secrets are being shown. Tasha spills the tea. Anything that's in the dark is coming to light. So keep your mouth shut and move in silence so nobody can disturb your dreams. Stay authentic. What they don't know, they can't destroy. Spirit has your back no matter what, so stay grounded. The secrets are being shown. All of my life through, I never love nobody but you. The Supreme baby love. Somebody's listening to some oldies, thinking about you. Okay? Remember, the ancestors love you. They see you as a, their baby. So be careful who you trust because people know that you're very protected by the divine. So they're going to do whatever they could because luck is on your side. So just hold on tight. They're going to do anything they could to try to stop you, block you. But the Libra is balanced. Now it could be a Libra doing this. Take it as it resonates, guys. Check the birth chart of these people around you. But it's about balance. So remember where you came from. Remember, we've all been through these experiences, so we don't have a right to judge. It's a learning experience. We're here to teach each other, to learn off of each other, and to be support systems to each other. I want to dance with your heartbeat. You have to be careful who you trust because some people just love your light, love your heart. They're succubuses and incubuses, so be careful. Because the dark can't beat the light. You're protected. So just dance. Be playful. Be a goof. And don't dwell on what you can't change. Watch out. Demons are definitely around you guys. That's why you need to trust. Be careful who you're around. Because these fucking people are really trying to put some spell work on you. Because she acts like summer and walks like rain. Because you're fucking balanced. You're masculine, feminine. You're a boss. And you're a mother. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You just might have to light that bitch up yourself. <laughs> That's why they're jealous because you know how to do soul retrievals. You help a lot of people and you stay authentic. You stand up for injustice and you trust yourself and the people around you or else you don't have them around. It is what it is, guys. Let's get some messages from the um, shadow deck, the light deck, and the self-love deck, okay, for some guidance. Spirit guide, show me some messages. What do you, wow, all right. At the bottom of the deck is nothing. So we have smile. And then it says sup uh, superficial. You, uh, you care too much about outward appearances. Start with your inner work, your value, your self-esteem, your personality. That king of wands is, you know, very superficial. And so is the narcissist. Okay, resist change. Ask yourself why you are resisting change and what good can come from it. These are all the shadow deck. Okay, so this is the shadow work you have to work on. Look into the moon energy for your highest desires. It's time to tap in, guys. Blissfulness. Close your eyes. Smile big. Dial the feeling of happy up to 10 notches. Remember, what you put out, you get back. And it's all about your thought process. So if we can reprogram our mind... We can get through the most craziest times, but we have to remember it's mind over matter. Step outside of your for fresh air. It's time for you to breathe. Close your eyes and remember your greatness. Remember who you are. Tap in, okay? You're the goddess of the moon. Place your heart on your place your hand on your heart and give thanks for you. Give thanks for yourself for all you've accomplished. Boundaries. Develop healthy boundaries to make sure you are emotionally and mentally stable. 
It's okay to say no. Be grateful for yourself and for being able to say no. Wrap your arms around yourself as best as you can and squeeze. Give yourself a fucking hug and celebration for all the things that you've accomplished all on your own. Gift yourself a small piece of rose quartz to wear for protection. Rose quartz is the heart stone. It's the love stone. It's time to do that self-love, guys. And smile. It's time to tap in. It's time to get that soul ascension. We don't need nobody to have a soul ascension. We don't need nobody to destruct things and go on a new journey. So let's get some messages from the ancestors. I'm going to light the sage again just to clear off that energy so we get a good message in for some guiding encouragement spirit guides let's get some messages all right so we have the courageous pony guys you're multifaceted and your unique nature let's so let yourself be seen let your, you have a unique nature let yourself be seen be authentic because you are not alone you are not alone isolation physical connections and community it's time to tap into your soul tribe to be courageous you are not alone you only are alone if you choose to be alone you know unless you're codependent you always have to have people around you but you're not alone it's time to empower people to be by themselves to do the spiritual work to do the spiritual retrievals have those baths and take the time to put the moon water out and bring it in before the sun comes up take the time to do the research you have a computer in your pocket guys it's attached to your hand 24 hours a day do the research and start empowering believe in your own power to create change and control your life be empowered by becoming an example for others and use your past experiences to make yourself stronger what we've been through doesn't have to be who we are we learn from that. We build and we grow. Believe me, I've been through the most craziest things and I put myself in those situations, which meant I had to own up and take responsibility. So nobody can say a goddamn single thing about me because I own up to that shit because I got freedom. I owned up to it. Every single thing, good or bad that I've done, I owned up to it. So I have freedom. So anybody could really say anything they want about me. I empower my past. I'm empowered by my past. To get the freedom. <clears throat> free yourself from limiting beliefs and attitudes. Be an advocate for freedom so that others can be free to pursue their dreams. Unshackle the chains that bind you from being the person that you want to be. And this one wants to come out. Somebody is going through a tower. A storm warning. Ask yourself what's urging, what's urgent in your life and what's making you feel overwhelmed or out of control. Are you worried about how you will survive a major change? You need to be free from any attachments. You need to understand that you're not alone. The physical is a facade, okay? Brilliant beliefs, illuminating life force and personal power. It's time to tap into your personal power. It's time to tap in. Yes, you need money to survive, to eat, to pay the bills, but we don't need very much, guys. This is the thing. And when you understand that, everything comes in. It's when you're superficial and you're greedy, then that's what you're going to lose. And it's going to make a big difference. So change your belief systems. Reprogram yourself because you got the fucking duality here. Many meanings and misunderstandings. This is the lover's card, guys. It's the duality. You need to have duality in life. You need the light and the dark. Number one, after the storm. It's after the storm you find out who you truly are. It's after the storm you get the downloads. It's after the storm you, you know, you see the light. You become the light. Remember, you, you might have to light that bitch up yourself, that dark tunnel. With the dualities, you have the protection. You just have to transmute. Stand up for yourself. Because you're a fucking miracle. You're a walking miracle. Be grateful for the experiences that you went through. You have the ancient wisdom in you. You have the courage. Uh, the courage. You're multifaceted. You have a unique nature. And there's a lot of people like you. Your star family is out there. So tap in, okay, guys? Because this came out yesterday as well. The seventh chakra and the fourth chakra. Archangel... Raphael and Archangel Ariel are protecting you. You have the protection from the ancestors. 
You have this beautiful light around you to bring change to environments. You are the messenger in spite of people not liking you or saying what they need to say. It's irrelevant. You are the truth. And it's because you go with heart. Your heart is what matters. It's not what you look like. Nothing. It's not what you have in your bank account. Nothing. Not the big car or the big house. It's your fucking heart. And that's what brings you protection, guys. And this is what people are understanding, that after the storm, you do see your gifts. You do tap into your gifts. Let's get some advice. You have the Knight of Swords. You're brave. You're courageous in conflict. And you're taking sudden action. And you're thriving on the change. There's a lot of competitive energies around you. But you're very career-minded. And you're going towards this. You're allowing the towers to fall. And you're... On your own, solo dolo, let's get one more. Lovers, yeah. Guys, this lovers came out three times in three decks, guys. There's an attachment into a relationship or a connection. There's a lot of emotions here. There's a choice to be made in a relationship. Issues. There's issues. <laughs> do you commit or do you not? There's a lot of dull, uh, doubt and temptation and a lot of dilemma. Remember, it's a choice, guys. Somebody is coming towards you with a lot of information after this tower because they see you free and they want to be free. There's a lot of empowerment here. You might not know this person. Like I said, it could be somebody from your past life. So you don't know them, but you feel like you know them when you meet them. But... It's going to bring duality, guys. Remember, it's all about choices, whether this is a lover, a friendship, family, job. It's a ch There's always a choice, but we have to stand up in our integrity so we don't get, you know, lost and our heart is still pure and authentic. When we go on this new journey, we need the guidance to tap into those gifts, guys, to be the inspiration for a lot of others to do the same. Last closing message, number 23, uh, 24. And number 24 reduces down to a six, guys. You have to use your heart. And number six was last year. So whatever you did last year is coming to bite you in the fucking ass this year. This is why I'm telling you to please be mindful of what you're doing this year because next year you're going to have to suffer the consequences. It is what it is, guys. Home is the kingdom. Stability and action. Number 24. <laughs> the house in the distance represents stability. But you are looking for a new challenge, a sense of freedom, and a need to spread your wings and follow them and allow them to take you wherever you need to go at this time. You are in a privileged, privileged position of having opportunities open to you, but you must now take action rather than dreaming about what might be. It is easier to let life pass you by, but life is for living to the fullest and situations can change for the better or worse in a heartbeat. Now is the time to embrace the moment. Know that you have the support behind you to change your path if you choose. It is only you stopping you from moving on. There's a feeling of being stuck in limbo. So change your vibrations and act and start acting soon. Time to destruct all this shit and all this frustrations, guys. Because at the heart of this deck, there's a lot of sorrow, a lot of disappointment, a lot of despair, a lot of frustration because of these towers, because you're extremely intuitive. You're the messenger. You're tapping into your gifts and you're doing it all by yourself with the guidance of the ancestors to go on this journey to help a lot of people. you got the protection. You are the hierophant. You are the high priestess. You are the um, temperance angel. And I believe in all of you. Okay, guys. So I hope that this resonated. I hope it helped. Let me get the cosmic con for my star seeds and all my aliens out there to get a last closing message. Spirit guide, show me what's going on here. I knew that card was going to come out. It really looked like it wanted to. So the last closing message for you beautiful guys for more clarity is there's a lot in the dark. Okay, with the moon, you're not going to get all the answers that you seek. A lot of people are hiding their... Their, um, their pain and they're hiding that they're struggling. So, you know, it's only because they don't have, you know, the self-esteem to know that they're not alone. The temperance angel, like I said, you're the temperance angel. So show that people that you can balance this out. You can have spirituality and practicality and you can be patient. You are the earth angel. Seven of guns and there's a liar in your midst. 
somebody is really trying to throw the rock and hide the hand because they see you're an earth angel and this is why you're not gonna know all the facts somebody's not gonna tell you the truth about a situation because you're a fucking empress they're jealous that's what it comes down to that's why people do this seven of swords but they always leave a trail guys <laughs> and whatever's in the dark is gonna come to light you're a fucking empress temperance angel and this is why you have the freedom this is why you're fucking walking justice and towers are falling for all these narcissistic, codependent, very um, sexual energies because you have the duality. You're protected by the light and the dark and the four of coins in reverse. You're fucking letting go of this nonsense. Anything in the dark and the tower is there. Like I said, life changing event, guys. Whatever's built on faulty foundation and never be gonna crumble. And some of us have good towers. It's the eight of guns. We have good towers because we got out of this mental entrapment. We're no longer binded, trapped. We're not in a prison of the mind. It's the hierophant. Hierophant. Nah. Yeah, you stand up for your morals and integrity. So good job, guys, because at the bottom of the deck, it's the seven of species. Somebody doesn't have any more options. And it could be a good thing, meaning you only you have one, the self-love. Or it could mean somebody is in a drug-filled haze, you drove them to drink kind of energy. They'd have no more options because they're stuck in this toxic relationship with the Jezebel. Who knows? But just cheers because you were able to overcome this with your courage. And you're not alone, guys. We've all been through this experience. So like I said, it's time for them to heal as well. You can't control these haters, guys. You can just stand up in your power and be who you are. You're a fucking empress, emperor. You're balanced, masculine and feminine. You're a divine feminine, guys. So I love yous. Please like, comment, and subscribe as you're leaving. I hope this resonated. I hope you, it gave you all the information possible to um, give you some clarity and I'll always put my information at the bottom if you want to message me privately if you're shy. I love you guys. Stay blessed and thank yous for all the comments and the interaction on the channel, guys. I, it's always so much love in, in the comments. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you to, for the support you show me and each other. Have a beautiful day, night, whenever you watch this. Peace.